Hello and welcome to this tutorial. The purpose of this tutorial is to introduce routing logic within RNR managed partitions. First, all the calls sent to your partition will have to pass the firewall. Then the switch will analyze tech prefix and strip it out. Then the calls will pass the routing table and will move to the routing label, where the routing label is a container of the out possible outbound choices to your terminations. But first, to have calls reaching your partition, they must originate from requested IP address, use requested protocol, be sent to your partition IP address, and use correct tech prefix. Does that sound obvious? Well, majority of initial testing failures come from not following the simple rules. So here they are again. When calls reaching the routing label, what it is. So, routing label is there for convenience and flexibility of your routing. It contains possible termination points and the rules how to select among them. But to get there, we gotta pass through the routing table. Your routing table in the new partition is empty. Any call being sent to your partition will be rejected by the switch. By creating a routing rule, you allow calls to certain numbers to pass through the switch to routing label into the outbound. Switch is using longest match, where routes with the most match digits will take precedence. In this example, 1212 is leading to routing label number 2. Let's take a deeper look at the routing label number 2. It uses sequential method for three carriers, A, B, and C. 100% of calls will reach to carrier A. If they fail for certain reason, they will reach carrier B in the same manner to, re to carrier C. Routing next routing label has a proportion. 70% of the first call attempt will reach to carrier A, 20 and 10 to B and C. If calls are failing, they will be sent to the next available route. Routing label and N does not use any outbound element. All calls will be rejected. This is useful for specific and explicit blocking of a certain subcodes within a larger regions.